Good it be. Uh, the burn pile that wouldn't burn is burning. It's a bit drier now, huh? Yeah, totally. So done. Uh. We're outside again. Yeah. The wood isn't dry, so we can't progress the kitchen. Right? Oh, no. But we still have a lot of things to take care of outside. Notably, yesterday, off camera, we planted a bunch of onion seed. And these need to be kind of kept warm for eight to 10 weeks before our last frost date. Now, ooh, it's like hot. <laughs> Maybe we move around because we're gonna get burned. Burn, babe, burn. And our last frost date is around March 21st to March 31st. So we're still doing good on that, that front, right? Yeah. Now, a few weeks ago, we planted a lot of stuff in the terrace that we've made by the road. Now, we'd love to give you a growth update, but the truth is nothing is growing. <laughs> Nothing is growing. Chickens has uh, kind of take, uh, how should you say? They've cannibalized the seed that we've planted <laughs> in there. And so we're kind of faced with a bit of a dilemma. Do we leave our chickens in the run? Or do we let the chickens be the chickens that they're meant to be and find a way to protect the seeds that we're planting? Yeah, I think we protect the seeds. Yes. Because the chickens are super handy for us just to roam around the land because they eat a lot of bugs and we have lots of ticks and fleas around here. So yeah, we don't want to lose that perk. No. Yeah. So today we are going to be raiding our leftover pile and then we're going to try to build some kind of mini greenhouse to cover the planter box that we have there. Now, the mini greenhouse is going to be serving dual purpose, hopefully keeping our onion seed that we planted a bit warmer because they're kind of like in mini greenhouses, but then we can put a mini greenhouse and a mini greenhouse because next week we're expecting some much cooler temperature, right? Maybe snow even. Maybe snow. And... And then we don't really have a lot of space in the house to keep all those seedlings. So, so we kind of need to do something about it to protect our future crop. Yeah. So today what we're going to be doing is building a greenhouse for a greenhouse. Hopefully. And Yeah. We're going to be looking at whatever leftover material that we have and we're going to be utilizing them. And we just need to find a way to protect our seeds from our chickens. Yeah. So done. Building a greenhouse for our greenhouses. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Yes, it will be nice when I look at this one. So guys, the area that we're looking to protect is kind of right here. Because as you can see, the animals seem to use it as their runway. And, well, it's no big surprise that we've not managed to grow anything in this yet. I can see that there's a few radish that are kind of popping up, but they're just, it's just, they're just there until the chickens decide to eat them up. So we really need to do something about this. Now, the last time that, that we were in the garden and you guys saw us using the weed repellent tarp, we had a lot of comments about this, like your seeds are not going to be able to pop through it. Uh, your seeds are not going to see the sun. Uh, what was it? Are you using plastic? 
why are you using plastic? You're introducing microplastic in your bed. I mean, people had big opinions about this. The truth is, guys, these weed repellent tarp, it's a method that we have seen being used by other YouTubers, notably Josh Sasson, who is one of the gurus that we've been following for many, many years. And this is what, this is what he uses. But his context is a bit different than ours. And I think we need to review the tarp situation because some of you guys were right. It looks like the seeds are not popping up. Now, is it because the chickens ate them or is it because the method is flawed? I don't know. But by building greenhouses or for the terraces, Maybe we're increasing our chances of a harvest. And we, we're we doing, like, we're homesteading because we want to grow our own food. So it's a good thing to try to put maybe all our chances on, on our side to get a harvest of some sort. Right, Dan? That's the idea. That's the idea. Okay, go. Pro tip, if you want to minimize the ends to crack like this when you take apart your pallets, make sure to take apart your pallets when the wood, wood are wet and not dry. Because usually these pallets are weighed with a somewhat crappy wood. So if you do it while they're wet, they flex a bit more instead of just uh, cracking. How high do we need to have it, do you think? Not very high. If you want to, like... Am I being too... Like this, maybe? Yeah, well, probably gonna have to be like this. Yeah. That's gonna work as a greenhouse. Like that. Yeah. So you can just take it inside and take the nail gun and... Yes, and then after that, whenever the plants are a bit more mature, and then the chickens are a bit more under control. under control, then we can just take away the plastic and then use them as trellis. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah.
We've got a lot of plastic. Plastic that we kept from oh, when whenever we unwrapped anything that was plasticky and transparent, we always kept it because we knew that at some point it could come really handy to do some kind of greenhouse like what we're doing there. So again, not throwing away anything is becoming pretty handy. Okay, let's take a look at what we have done today. So we're not going to be moving the onion seedling just yet um, because when we look closely at the soil, there's stuff popping up. Now, is it peas? Is it beans? Is it, we don't know yet. We can't identify it just yet. It could just be weeds as well. But we've just given it a lot of water and then we think that this is going to kind of help us identify whatever is growing in there. It's, uh, yeah, so let's show you what we've done today. Done. This has certainly been one of our most challenging projects. Who would have thought that building such a small greenhouse and protecting a little bit of the garden from the chicken would be this taxing after we've built an entire house? Yeah, it was easier to wrap the house with the windbreaker than, than putting the plastic on uh, these small A-frames, have to be said. Yeah. It was taxing on the on the fish. <laughs> <laughs> it was. And the funny part, not so funny for us. Every time, we say, okay, let's go sit down and wait the wind out. Sit down, no wind. Go back, the storm breaks out. Like now. Like now. <laughs> <laughs> and then that means that the tripod and everything just falls. So. <laughs> Leave all the times the tripod. Donk, donk, donk. <laughs> Another beautiful day on the land and thankfully today it's a lot less windy. We do have the odd wind gust that comes through but it's nothing compared to what it was yesterday. Now if you wonder where Dan is, he's inside just resting his elbow but I thought I'd come in the garden and try to prepare this area here. 
Because as you guys know, we have around 200 onions that will need to be planted in 8 to 10 weeks. And right now, we don't have a place to plant all of this. Now, right here, at some point, we'll be having a greenhouse. And then, of course, having a greenhouse means starting to prepare the soil, think about irrigation, and just thinking about layout overall. So what I thought I'd do today to try to get us moving forward is just come in the garden and start kind of defining where we're going to have some flower beds to hopefully at some point put a greenhouse on top of it or have some kind of temporary insulation that we can keep the chickens away from our onions. So that's that. So what you'll see next is just a lot of hard work <laughs> preparing this area to hopefully host our garden very soon. Okay, can I work? I love you too. Can I work? Are we done? I love you, Elroy. I love you, Elroy. Okay, Elroy, you have to go there. Elroy. Elroy. No, no, no. That's my tool. Get over there. Get over there. Not up the mountain, city boy. There's dig there. I'm gonna impale you. You need to be a little bit more danger aware. Yes. Between you and your brother, I mean, what am I gonna do? Good thing you put a smile on my face, you. It's a good thing you put a smile on my face, you. Okay, social distancing. Thank you. Elroy, leave it. Elroy. Please, my water, my water, the very
Okay, well, I've got three rows done, more or less. So that's really good news. And I just came back from a little break. And then I've also looked up the chickens because they were far too helpful. It's enough with the two dogs and the cats jumping on the pile of dirt that I'm trying to create by hand to hopefully plant something in this part of the land. Now, the chickens aren't too impressed right now, but they have plenty of feed in there. And then hopefully this means that the piles that I'm created will stay more like little piles as opposed to being trampled by the chickens and the dogs and the cats and the wildlife. So that's that. So now I'm going back to it, back to hacking. I hope you're enjoying it. That looks like the start of a garden. Yay! I've got four piles done. Yeah, four. Not a whole lot, but it's four. I just need to find something in the shed to try to cover the rows that I've done because you guys have seen the chickens they just come and scratch 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 which is not all that great given the amount of work I've put in those four small rows so I'll have a look in the shed I think we might have some plastic or some weed repellent tarp or something so I can just cover the pile that I've done. Fingers crossed. Aha! Sounds coming. I'm gonna get a work evaluation now. <laughs> That'll work. What do you think? Yeah. We got four. Good. It is good, huh? Do you wanna make some coffee and I'll join you once it's ready? Sure. Good stuff. This is definitely not the right tarp for the job, but it's the only tarp that I've got now. So I, again, my goal is just to keep the chickens away from decimating this, because their chickens are a bit maniac.
shit days rich. Good morning. Seven thirty in the morning, Sunday morning. Dan has had a pretty rough night. He didn't sleep all that much. His elbow was bugging him. So I thought I'd just leave him the house to himself so that he can catch up on some sleep and yeah, keep the boys entertained and just leave the house very, very quiet for him to rest as much as possible. So, so basically, okay, so yesterday after the day's work, I edited the content that, yeah, I edited like the content that you just saw basically. And then I started having a complex, like, like a real complex, like a, like a small pile complex. So it, like when I compare the piles that I've created with the piles that other farmers are creating, creating to pile their stuff in or to plant their stuff in, they're much bigger. So I said, okay, let me just go out and see what happens if I remove the dirt in the middle of the row and try to pile it on to my first pile. Of course, it means that the middle row, like the walking space, is going to be a bit lower. But then it also means that I don't have to go way up there to get some good soil. So the whole flock is up, almost. And so I'm just going to uncover one row at a time. And I'm going to do a test row with the first one. And then let's see how it goes. Let's see if if it is like what I imagine our garden to be. So that's that. So that's what you'll see next. Uh -huh. So it starts, you need your morning run. Okay? Mason, we're gonna throw it that way. <laughs> uh, maybe Mason, we throw it that way so you can run a bit longer. That way. <sighs> now, I've also been in touch with one of our neighbor, one of our many neighbors who has pigs, and they offered us some pig manure. So I'm not sure exactly when this is gonna happen, but at some point we're gonna be adding pig manure to this, these rows. And then that's that. But that is very much depending on their schedule, of course, because when you get free manure, you can't dictate when you get the manure. So that's that. Mason, another throw? Okay, then we go to work, okay? Then we go to work. The good thing is that our soil doesn't have many stones. Right down here, way, way, way less stones than up there. So not only am I saving myself from saving the soil by doing this extra bit of work, but I'm also saving myself from going to carry it. So to me right now, this makes a whole lot of sense. Be like your brother, people pool. Wait. Oh, 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 
Should I just not work today? Should I just spend the day cuddling you guys? Maybe that's what I need to do, right, people poo? Okay, all right, there's a limit to the madness, the bye. Oi, 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 oi. No, less, less madness. Don't be a klepto. No, no, my tarp. How's the chickens going to do? What's going to happen now? Yes? Hey, Elroy. Elroy, we're a team. Stop. Stop. Ay, ay, ay. No, enough. Log on. Log on. Log on. Log on. Enough. Log on. <laughs> okay. Let's love this morning. Tabay. Let's love. Okay, Mason, you want your stick? This one, yes? That way. He's that way. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Okay. See, I think I might not have all that much patience today. I know you love my gloves. You know, when we got a pastor, one of those, the vet told us these dogs never stop. And I think our vet was very right. Do you ever stop you? Do you ever stop? Do you ever, you never stop. See, there's always, <laughs> it's so funny. Guys, a lot has happened this morning and not everything was captured on the camera. At some point this, the phone just stopped recording. What you have missed is that the lovely Apasha had joined us, which is Elroy's mom, and she was as helpful as Elroy has been. Uh, what you have also missed is the, the fact that I've, let's see, uh, I've completed just clearing out the middle row for the two last piles but now they're covered so yeah they were not covered and everything was filmed and explained but you know tech glitch happens so all that to say this is going to be it for me for this week i want to thank you very very much for watching and next week dan and i are going to be in the kitchen because the wood appears to be a little bit more dry i'll wait like for him to give us an, a go because he's the expert in that field and uh yeah hopefully we're going to be working in the kitchen for next sunday's video 
keep your fingers crossed for us, please. We're really, really looking forward to go back and working inside and mostly getting out of the bathroom kitchen combo because it's getting old. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you very much for watching. Ciao, ciao now.